Hey, welcome back, Rankers. How are you going? So, OpenAI have their developers day this week, and the world has changed. <laughs> uh, basically, the highlights, there are heaps of videos out there and write-ups about the dev day, but from a business owner's perspective, what you need to know is that OpenAI just became cheaper, more powerful, and way, way more capable uh, than it ever has been before, and it's about to explode. And the reasons for that are plenty, but the main one is the ability for you, anyone, to create their own little mini version of an AI agent or assistant that uses the ChatGPT platform. So for instance, everything I talked about last week and how these AI agents are going to start working in Teams, this pretty much confirms that's where we're heading. Because right now, and I'll show you the couple of ones we've already created ourselves. The first one we've created is a buyer persona generator. And this is a tool we've been using all year that we've been working with. And you can see there, all I've done is dump in a web address of uh, a store that I frequent a lot. This one's been a bit stop and start in that I've had to type continue. That doesn't happen with the updated, updated version. These will be public for anyone to use this buyer persona generator and the other tools that I'm showing here this morning. It's now actually going off and visiting Wikipedia, which is interesting because I haven't told it to do that uh, and in the instructions. But basically, the work that we've done this year around these tools has enabled us to make them available to everyone through this GPT store. And I think that's the most extraordinary <laughs> development for these tools that we're going to see. And these are not hard to build. You, if you've got access to the, the platform, not everyone has this yet, but it's rolling out. Um, OpenAI's ChatGPT is under a lot of load, so sometimes you can get on, sometimes you can't. These are the other GPTs we're working on at the moment. Uh, one is the competitor insight generator, which is really cool. Uh, it's just a little, just needs a little bit of coaching at the moment, but that that's really useful. And, uh, and the way it goes out and finds things about competitors and those sorts of things is great. Uh, by Persona Generator, I just showed you. This better AI content generator, I'm just sharing this with a few clients at the moment. And where, and this is where you would get into, say, a team or what will possibly happen with OpenAI. You know, for instance, uh, you will see GPT start to get bundled is one thing I can think of the top of my head that will happen. Uh, so, for instance, I'm already taking the output of this and I'm plugging it into this and saying I need some product descriptions and here's the buyer persona. So that's how you would use this tool. And I can see OpenAI, I mean, there's just so many of these things now. It's just crazy. Um, I encourage you to watch all the videos you can on this because that's what I'm doing. And there's plenty of great content out there. Uh, I'm sharing them on my uh, Twitter feed and following those people. Oh, sorry, X, whatever it's called. Um, so you can follow me there. But there's some e excellent stuff. The Sam Strategist was the first one that Nick created in the office this morning. Uh, that's that that, need, that needs work. And for instance, you know, I can upload my book. Uh, I can upload 800 transcripts here, and someone can pick my brain. And that's what the idea behind that. And I know that's a horrible phrase, but I've I get literally get people queuing up at conferences and coming up to me and saying those exact words: "Can I pick your brain?" Well, if you're one of those people and you've already written books and rafts of content that you know you want to distill somewhere and you can say people you want my advice here it is <laughs> go and use it here and that's the idea behind you know this thing here um you know no you can't buy me a cup of coffee my time is worth more than even a melbourne prized cup of coffee which isn't cheap basically what this means is that anybody can come in and create one of these agents within the chat gp tap platform and publish it publicly and this is where it's a bit foggy at the moment we're not too sure of the revenue share model but they will have a revenue share model if you're charging for that with the developer so similar to the way that the app store 
and developers develop apps for the App Store and Apple takes a share of that revenue. Uh, the same is seemingly going to apply to OpenAI. We don't know anything about pricing models or anything like that as far as the GPTs go. And these have come out of tools that we've been building over the last year using AI to make our lives easier, our jobs better, and our clients' results incredible. And so now we're able to take these tools and incorporate them directly into the chat GPT platform for anyone to use. What I would say to business owners, and I said to a client this afternoon, I said, have a think about that project that you had a few years ago that you have all this incredible data around and knowledge base around. That information isn't necessarily easy to come by or, or find in a single place. That sort of information is going to be gold, I think. So the bigger the data store, the more information that you have that you can refine your GPT to perform a specific function, then you're gonna get the best output and people are gonna to wanna to use it. So you remember in the early days of the App Store, we had the, uh, the rotary dialer for the iPhone. We, we even had a flashlight because the phone didn't come with an LED. Well, remember the next phones all came with a little flashlight because that app was so popular? Well, guess what's happening with OpenAI? Pretty much the same sort of stuff. So things that get developed over the next year, they'll probably just, the popular things are gonna be incorporated into these platforms like has happened this week. There's a lot of businesses out there whose whole model is now gone because what they were doing is, has now been incorporated directly into ChatGPT. And that's just the ChatGPT side of it. Now all of a sudden we can start programmatically using AI assistance in scripts. So there's a whole raft of things that we're creating that we know make our own lives easier that we'll be publishing. There's gonna be billions of these things out there, right? So I don't know how this platform is gonna to scale. Today hasn't been a very good example because it's down at the moment when I tried to log in. Um, but I think it's gonna impact email. We know it's going to impact search. I told you that, beginning of the year. I didn't think it would impact email, but now, this week, yeah. Because if I've got my AI assistant dealing with my email, which I will, and it responds to those emails, which it will, based on my rules, how I talk to it, all of these things. Um, you know, I've got 20 years of transcripts of SEO information up on YouTube that I can use to fine tune a model just for you know, how I write even, plus all my emails themselves. So all of those things are going to happen. It's the writings on the wall, it's coming and some of them are already out there. And I'm sure we'll see people developing GPTs around email as well. But what happens if, you know, your AI generated EDM, which is why we're heading at one end, is getting handled by an AI assistant at the other end. <laughs> Who decides what gets through to the decision maker and how is the decision made? So this is gonna have an impact on email and now I'm thinking, could it impact on websites? Are we gonna have some sort of different ubiquitous chat bots that access some sort of central Shopify, retail, brand, data store, I don't know. But last week I didn't think email, well, two weeks ago I didn't think email would be under threat. Now I'm going, yeah, this could impact EDMs. And chat, by the way, like I said last week, it's gonna impact chat. Anyway, hope you enjoyed those demos, uh, they're not public yet at the time of publishing this video because the store isn't up. So hopefully we'll be able to get them out there for everyone to use and get some feedback. But go and create your own. Have a think about the unique knowledge base that you might have. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, 
share, subscribe with your friends. And if you'd like to hire us to use some of our tools to go over your website, then give us a call. Thanks very much. Bye.